hi guys welcome back to my channel and today we are doing some cement crafts and we are going to be attempting to make these beautiful beautiful flower pots from cement and trust you me this was my first time trying out this DIY and it didn't let me down so if you want to see how the process goes then stay tuned and Keep on watching. So I go ahead and make these pieces I'm also going to be tipping them all through so that they do not stick on the cement so that's an easy process and it's self explanatory so don't mind where I'm putting my sand there's some construction going on in my compound and I'm having is getting all these things <laughs> so yeah it's making my work easy so I have this leftover grout that I uh, was putting some tiles in the house so I'm going ahead and using it to make these DIY crafts. So make sure that you're wearing your mask when you're doing this because you can see that it is really dusty and make sure that you are doing this process like you see so i have just put the grout on the bowl and then i'm adding in the water and mixing this mixture to make sure that i get a good paste so moving forward i'm using some oil and oil you can use any type of oil i'm using cooking oil and this helps when and you're putting in the cement or this grout mixture so that it doesn't stick on the tin and it easily comes out once it dries so that is a trick that you can go ahead and use so look at the things that i'm using i'm actually using these tiny pieces of uh, yeah trash i would call it and trying to make this trash to work for me so get creative and <laughs> utilize your ideas and get all the funny shapes in your place and yeah go ahead and use all those things to make your craft work So moving forward, I'm using this old piece of rag and I'm going to also be making this craft and this is being made from cement. This is a mixture of cement. Just make a good paste then I'm putting in the rag, putting this with a stick. I want the rag to soak in in the cement mixture and then i'm just going to pull it out and put it on the item that i want to shape my vase this one is a tiny one so i'm putting it up on this old jug i also have these tins that were carrying paint so i'm also pulling out my wet towel with cement and shaping them here on top of these paint tins this work gets messy so you need a pair of gloves because cement is also not so safe for your hands especially if you're not going to clean them immediately just in case you touch the cement with your hands make sure that you clean your hands with water and faster before it starts drying out on you everything the way I want it to come out and I will let it dry for about 24 to 48 hours so that I get a crunchy crunchy vase 
so moving forward remember concrete always needs water so you need to keep watering these vases so that they can dry out nicely with the cement getting all the water and yeah that is going to give you the best result so i have made this mixture again of just cement and water you can see the consistency i don't have any measurements i was just mixing and yeah using my eyes honestly so i'm just going to apply that cement all over these jars so that they can dry up tough as you can see they are already standing by themselves and they are dried and so yeah that is what we are aiming for when we are making these vases so i'm just going to let them stay here outside and continue drying and remember that i'm always sprinkling water on them so that it gets enough water and it dries out nicely and uh, you can also go ahead before you mold this and cut a piece where your outlet is going to be down on the vase so these are dried and we are going into the next step remember these tiny ones i have already removed them from the tins and i'm just going to use a sandpaper any edges that are not smooth then make sure that everything is smooth and brush them a bit and then go ahead and paint them i'm not a perfect painter but i i hacked this yeah i hacked these tiny tiny jars and yeah just continue watching so i'm going ahead and giving them a brush of paint i'm just using white paint which is water based and i'm just going to brush these crafts and let them dry for about 24 hours again this is a project also that needs a little bit of patience because you don't just sit and do it instantly i made about nine pieces of these tiny tiny planters that i want to put my cactus in and i think they are cute on the next project i'm going in with these dried out faces and i'm also going to give them a brush of the water-based white paint and at least the, just give them a gist of looking nice because of where i want to put them so i'm going in ahead and brushing all of them look at how cute they came out and i've already gone ahead and planted something inside so i'm putting them here outside my backyard where i just have an old sofa here so the rest of the plants i'm going to be putting them here on the window panes and some on the table which is just down here and i think they look cute this is something simple you can do for yourself and it's something yeah which is fun and it's a good experience i would say I really did love how this came out and yeah, I'm excited so my backyard is looking better than it was looking before and yeah so I hope you enjoy this video okay one more thing I know you're wondering what this is this is a tiny tiny 
bicycle that uh, used to belong to my son and it's now old and he has outgrown it so i removed everything that could burn easily and then the leftover is what i painted and i thought it is a good home for this one planter and for the rest i've just put them on top of these rocks and i'm finally going to find a home for them so this makeover is not complete yet but i just couldn't wait for the whole process including this ground to be replanted with new grass for me to show you how everything looks when it's complete but for now i hope you're able to see and get a glimpse of what it is that i wanted to show you in this so you can imagine that you can turn your rugs you know your trash into something beautiful and precious I'm in love with this and yeah I think it's something pretty that you can go ahead and also try if you like. <music> 